Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes in Digital Scrapbook Artist. So the first thing you want to do is go to the right hand side and we've got a number of tabs here. We've got Effects, Online, Brushes and Layers. Since we're making brushes, click on the Brushes tab. Now you might have something else listed here. I have Stitches and Eyelets listed because that was the last time that I used the brushes. What you can do is you can click on the pull down tab and then using the scroll bar move up until you see workspace. Click on workspace because all of our brushes that we are going to be creating will end up here. Now I went into a digital scrapbook artist and I opened the dollhouse kit which is free with the software and I just took these two embellishments over here. So I'm going to take this flower and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to take this flower over here and I'm also going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to kind of make it almost the same size, just maybe a little bit more in that direction. Now I also want to take this flower, which is this flower here, and I want to place it over here. I could easily drag this one over here and then make it smaller or because this one's already the size I want, I can leave it selected, hold down the control key on your keyboard, hold down your left mouse button and drag it to its new location, let go of the left mouse button and then let go of your key, control key on your keyboard. So now I've got this image and I can make tons of them if I wanted to. I can make a whole bunch more but I'm just going to leave these three as they are. What I need to do is turn them into a photograph. So to do that make sure that select is still selected. Draw an imaginary box around your images, whichever ones you use. You can use one image, five images, ten images, it doesn't matter. Completely up to you. Depends how you want to create your brush. Now you need to go to the top of the screen and click on File, then Export, and then Export as Image. Now when you're into this new box that appears, two things very important. Make sure that there is a dot beside 24 and make sure there is a check mark beside transparency. Then you click on export. Now you need to find a place on your computer where you want to save the file to. I want to save this file to my pictures, so I'm just going to type in the name of the flower. I'm going to call it flower3 since there are three of them and make sure that PNG is selected. And if it's not, you can easily just pull it down from the pull down tab. Although because we use transparency, PNG is automatically selected on my computer. So click on save and now that's been saved as a photograph. We can delete these flowers since they are selected. I just press the delete key on my keyboard and they are now gone. Now let's create the uh, brushes. To do that, go to the top of the screen and click on Digikit Creator. You have a number of options over here, but since we're creating brushes, you're going to stop when you get to brushes and click on that. Over here you can see that we don't have any brushes listed because we haven't created any. So let's go over to the Create key at the bottom and let's kick on, click on that button. Now you have two options. You can create the brush or you can create a spray brush. I'm actually going to make both. First let's start by creating the brush. When this box appears all you need to do is click on the Browse button and then you're going to find the file folder that has your images. When you find it you click on it to select it and you click on Open. I'm going to leave this as none so that it is stretched and I'm going to click on OK. Here I have my brand new flower brush. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to click on create, create brush, click on browse and then click on flower so it's selected, click on open but this time I'm going to drop down and I'm going to click on simple and I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, I now have another brush. Let's make one more. Click on Create, Create Brush, Browse, click on your image, click on Open. And this time I'm going to cut it apart into nine pieces. And you can see that there are nine lines that go through the flowers. When you're happy with that, you click on OK and there is our next brush. Now I'm going to create a spray brush. So click on Create, Create Spray Brush, and here you would click on to add your photograph and I'm going to click on the flower. Now if you had more images you would click here 
and you would add another image and onward and onward but in this case I'm only using one image so the very first one that it created for me I think is very pretty I'm going to click on OK now I'm going to create another spray brush but this time I'm going to make adjustments so I'm going to click on here to add my image and then when my image inside I'm going to adjust it by clicking on the spacing button over here and you'll see that now you have this new slider and when you slide it you get a preview down here of what your image is going to look like so you can keep sliding until you're happy with the spacing you can also play around with different portions here you can make this part go around you can also make this part come out you have a rotation where you can rotate the image. I'm just going to leave it like that and you can also do a different sort of incline on your rotation. And I'll just leave it like this and I'm going to click on OK. So from my one photograph I have now made five different brushes. What you can do now is you can save your DigiKit or if you don't want to save it you just want to see what it looks like you click on Done and now you need to have some sort of image on your screen so you can apply the brushes to. What I'm going to do is go to the top of the screen and click on shapes and I'm just going to click on the heart shape. I'm going to draw a heart on my screen and anytime you use something from the shapes menu you're going to see these sliders. You might have a slider here or a slider here or one here or one here. You may have two of them, you may have three of them. When you slide these sliders, you can adjust the shape so it can look a little bit different, depending on how you want it to look. When you're happy and you're finished with your shape, you need to click on the Select button. Now, once you click on the Select button, you can move your shape around. If you forget to click on the Select button and you start to move your shape, you're going to see another heart shape is going to be forming, or depending on what shape you used. Next thing that you need to do is go over here and click on the word color. Now as you can see the first image is to the front and that's your fill. So if this is to the front and if I click on a color then you're going to see that this image is going to fill with that color. But I don't want it to fill with the color, I just want the transparency. So I clicked on this little transparency. What I want is the outline. In order to activate that you have to click on the outline. You bring this to the front and as you can see it's covering the transparency now. This is the one we want to work with. I'm going to click on my flower, the very first one, and to adjust the size of it I need to click on this tab called the line tab and now I can pull this into the uh, right hand side and I can make this bigger and when I click off of this this is my new heart and this is what the brush I've created looks like and this was the stretched brush I think it's a very pretty effect so I'm going to click on my uh, heart again and this time I'm just going to move this a bit down and I'm going to click on the next brush that I created which is the flower which is the uh, no stretching involved and I'm going to turn this to the right sorry move it to the right and as you can see I now have a very nice image file with the heart and the flowers that go all the way around it. Let's have a look at what the next one looks like. I'm going to click on this, I'm just going to move this down and I'm going to click on the image of the photograph that is now cut into nine sections and as you can see we have yet another effect. So we have a very pretty brush effect that we've also created. If I click on this and now um, I click on my spray brush, you can see what it looks like. It looks uh, quite interesting. I'm going to click on this one more time and this time I'm going to click on my other spray brush and as you can see this one looks a little bit interesting. Now what you might notice is a little bit of ghosting images here. This happens occasionally and unfortunately they don't have a button that you can press to just make them go away. So what I do is I move my slider, move it this way, and then I move it up and down and then that usually gets rid of them. So there you go. Now um, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and if you wanted to, if you didn't like these colors, you could change the colors. I'm going to go to color and first I'm going to fill the inside of the heart so I just make sure that the front portion is selected and then I'll click on the, the red and then with the outline I'm going to change that to red as well. That's a little bit too red. And that's a little bit nicer and there you have it there's a little bit of a variation of what these flowers could look like let's click on the outline again 
and let's make this one just a little bit bigger and let's change the color of the hearts. I'm sorry, the color of the flowers. And there you go. There's a variation on that as well. That gives you an idea of what you can do with your own brushes. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.